A standard set of bookmarks allows you to have one place that is automatically gonna be applied to any Chrome device that is signed into with your user's business accounts. So Graham asks, we have a setup of standardized Chrome bookmarks for our workspace users. These appear without issue on desktop Chrome, but not on users' Android devices, Chrome browsers. Is there a setting to fix this issue? Now, if you're a small business owner and you're interested in setting up a standard operating environment, well, one way of doing that is through standard managed bookmarks. And this is a feature built into Google Workspace. It means that you can have a standardized set of bookmarks that everyone in the company gets or certain groups of users that you delegate to. And this is a really useful feature, particularly in the age of phishing and scam attempts. It basically means that you can not enforce what websites that someone accesses, but you can at least give someone a safe link that you know points to the right website or the service that you're looking to access. That might be something like a banking website. It might be something like a customer portal. It might be something like how you upload documents and communicate with your clients. A standard set of bookmarks allows you to have one place that is automatically going to be applied to any Chrome device that is signed into with your user's business accounts. Now, of course, someone has to sign in with their business account for this to work. So if you've deployed a policy and it's not appearing in people's devices, whether that be a desktop device or even a mobile device, perhaps you wanna check that they're actually signed in with their business account to that device, because that's gonna to have to be their first step. But once that's done, well, the policy that you set should automatically apply. And I'm gonna show you where to apply that policy so you know how to set it up if you haven't yet done that yourself. So we're gonna go ahead and log into our admin panel. We go to admin.google.com and inside our admin panel, we're gonna look for our Chrome policies. Now, there are two types of Chrome policies inside Google Workspace. There is a device level policy and there is a user level policy and they're applied in different ways. Confusingly, you can have user-based policies that can get applied to different devices, like for example, a mobile phone or a desktop computer. But the important thing to understand is, I guess with those user device policies is they might be better named to be account-based policies. They're gonna to apply to the user account that somebody is signing into, whereas the device-based policies are gonna to apply to a managed device. And no matter what user is signed into that managed device, device level policies are gonna to apply to those users. Now, in what case could you have device level policies doing something useful? Well, if you're using Chrome devices like a Chromebook or a Chrome box, well, you might decide to make use of a device level policy to say, set it up as a kiosk. If you have a public use computer, or maybe you wanna set it up for some kind of digital signage, you can invoke certain kiosk features which allow you to say, no matter who logs into this, after one hour, they should be logged out. These are useful device level policies, but we're not gonna cover them today. Today, we're gonna to cover our user level policy for managed bookmarks. So I'm gonna jump into my admin panel here. Let's see, Chrome browser settings. That's the one I'm gonna go for. And you can see here, there are user and browser settings. And Google's made a nice little update here and they've actually now identified for the different policies which devices they will apply to because some policies are only available for certain devices and you can see here which ones will work on a computer or a managed browser. So that could be a Chrome device or it might just be someone with a Google Chrome browser and they're logged in. Then you have Android and then you have iOS. So four different kinds of devices that can be applied to. The Chrome browser can obviously be a Mac or a PC. Okay, so I'm gonna go in here and now I'm gonna search for bookmark and I'm gonna look for the bookmark setting and I'm looking for managed bookmarks. So you can see here we have managed bookmarks and it says that managed bookmarks are available for Chrome devices, Chrome browsers, Android and iOS as well. So that seems to be workable. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and click through into my managed bookmarks. Let's open these guys up. Okay, so we have 12 bookmarks configured. I can hit edit bookmarks. And what this will let me do is change and modify any of these apps as I need to. So once you configure domains here, these will automatically be assigned to anyone in your company. And what they're gonna look like is, I've called my menu the links menu here. I can click on that menu and it's automatically gonna show me all of those links there. And anyone who signed into a Chrome browser on a Chrome device should get access to these. Now, if you don't have access to these on a Android device right now, some policies here only apply to premium versions of Google Workspace. So some of these you will see a small icon denoting 
that these are only available on the Google Workspace Business Premium plan, for example, or some of them, I believe, are only available to enterprise as well. And some of these, obviously, if you're looking to manage a Chromebook or a Chrome box, you're gonna have to use the Chrome device level management, and that requires a separate license. So for each Chrome book or Chrome box that you want to manage with device level policies, you need to buy that license. But the confusing thing is you can still do the user-based policies. They're not the good ones. The good ones are the device level policies. So if you're doing Chromebooks or Chromeboxes and you wanna manage them properly, you pretty much gotta buy one of those Chrome Enterprise licenses very well worthwhile so you can lock those devices down and protect them from getting into the wrong hands or somehow being compromised potentially. If you need more help with what we've covered in this video, IT Genius provides support services to businesses all over the world with problems just like this. Click the link below to get started.